amazing guavas. Are you seeing? I hope the lighting is perfect. These are called guavas. So in my up country, it's the season of guavas and we are going to enjoy them accordingly. <laughs> and uh, that is how our beautiful sitting room looks like. This is it. It's a beautiful day. The sun is out. Kids are playing. You know, I want to show you avocados. So when we when we fetch firewood, we place them at this corner so that they cannot be rained on. As you can see, we made something like a, a roof to cover the woods from being rained on. When we wash our dishes, that's where we place them so that they can dry. After drying, we put them in the kitchen. And this is our up country kitchen in Taita. So, as you can see, guys, we have avocados, guys. They are just from being picked. So, we will give them time to ripe. And then they are going to be ready to be eaten. And I got this amazing uh, thing. Jewel, what do you call it? Written my name in town, CBD area. Those are firewood. So, some of them we keep them outside some of them we keep them here that's where we cook our meal you can see the firewood so we put the firewood actually together like this so that the heat does not go out so when you want to cook you just come put them a bit apart put the papers and you blow and you have your heat so this is where we cook and when we ensure that there is water here all the time this warm water or hot water helps us in washing the dishes rinsing our hands rinsing the dishes you know when you're tired you can rest here on the bed you can see we have more avocados just ready to be eaten so this is it we also have more of the firewoods up here guys because when you put them up here and the kitchen obviously it's hot they get dry very well and they cook for us our meals very very nicely so this is it guys we store our water in this jerry can the blue tank the bigger tank if you can learn something from it this is a great investment. If you are in up country or if your mom and dad are in up country, you can invest it for them a tank. It comes in very, very handy. It's a life changer. More firewoods are here for cooking and all that. Out here, we have something going on, just a mini a mini green greenhouse or what do you call it we have planted some vegetables some maize you know so we are making use of it and then all of these parts guys are you seeing all that we have maize we have grown some maize as you can see there all the way up to down there and we are among the lucky or blessed people all that down area all the trees you're seeing around here that is our forest and i'm just so excited i'm just so happy i thank god for that we have that hill i keep forgetting the name but it looks really amazing from my camera even the camera is not doing it just have are you seeing this tree I don't know if you can see it very well, but that tree that you're seeing it, that is our avocado tree. So every day it drops avocado down and then when it drops the avocados down, we collect the avocados and then we store them nicely for the avocados to ripe. And then we can eat them later. This is just a matoke tree. A matoke in Africa is called banana, but the green banana that we cook. So you can see our lovely kids are playing. We have big play area for the kids. And we have this amazing door to lock the kids inside so that they don't go outside and all that. So this is the mini tour I have been telling you guys about. That is how everything basically looks like. We have passion. I don't know if we have passion growing somewhere here. I have not seen passion fruit, but this is this is the passion flower going on around here. With time, we are going to see some of the passion fruits just coming out. So that is more of the forest, guys. More of the forest happening and all that. And you know, this pumpkin, this pumpkin, pumpkin vegetables, we do cook this in our village. What about you? Leave your comments, let me know. After sometimes we get the, 
we get the pleasure to harvest the pumpkins we cook it we boil it so we like just fl- also putting flowering to make the compound look beautiful and all that so this is basically it i know maybe the video is long or short but i thought you know why not you know whenever you go somewhere and you see some improvement you see some positivity you vlog it and uh, you have sweet and um, adorable memories of the place so this is it guys this is our beautiful beautiful lovely home with all the greeneries with all the vegetation going around that is my son he's going to be here for some time (laughs) yes guys so this is it if you like such kind of videos guys you know what to do kindly like share leave your comments let me know what you think thank you so much for being on my youtube channel and see you on my next one Always remember that positive thoughts brings positive outcome. Until next time, allow me to say bye for now. So this is how our village looks like. Very beautiful, guys. Very, very beautiful. Bye. That is the avocado tree. I hope you are seeing them. That's where they fall. That is our avocado tree with lots and lots and lots of, 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 of avocados. So leave your comments. Let me know what do you plant in your village? What kind of fruits, vegetables, what plantation goes on in your beautiful village in Africa? And where do you come from in Africa? This is my village in Africa. This is the beautiful Taita land in Africa. That is our beautiful, amazing home. That is our beautiful forest heading down all to that way and all that. So this is just amazing. This is kids playing, kids having time with nature and all that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you seeing how amazing the plantations looks like? The flowerings with yellow. You know, like me, I love yellow. Yellow is a bright color. It just reminds you of just smile, be happy, be positive. These flowerings have gone all the way to the door. Like I told you before, whenever you are in the village, you get to experience like, you know, healthy eating because these these vegetables, you don't buy them. You plant them and when their time for harvesting comes, you get to enjoy this. We even have yeah, these Kienyeji greeneries, you know. This, we have harvested them. You can see the avocado, the ripe ones, they are there. They have even changed the color. And the ones that are not ripe, we have placed them in that bucket so that they can ripe. And you remember I told you that we put these two sticks together to prevent the fire from burning out. Then when you want to cook, you separate them according to the way we have separated them. You can see it is burning very nicely, enhancing the heat, hence making our meal preparation to be quick and convenient. So yes guys, this is it. I'm going to continue doing short clips and then I'm going to combine them together to just give you one amazing vlog guys i know i know i know maybe the video is long but goodbye until next time i hope you have spotted an avocado are you in tight <laughs> i can bring you an avocado but bye guys and thank you for being here bye 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 see you cheers and always stay positive